What if I tell you that your higher self has already achieved and accomplished your goal and you on your current level perceiving this desire is simply an indication of what is available for you, what's possible for you, what you now should shift into. Because again, your higher self has already achieved it. Now let's talk about this in more detail. And this is what Neville Goddard said. So the acceptance of the end wills the means. Assume the feeling of your wish fulfilled and your dimensionally greater self, aka higher self, will determine the means. When you appropriate a state as though you had it, the activity of the day will divert your mind from all anxious thoughts so that you do not look for signs. You do not have to carry the feeling that some presence is going to do it for you, rather know that it's already done. Knowing it is already a fact, walk as though it were and things will happen to make it so. You do not have to be concerned about some presence doing anything for you. The deeper dimensionally greater you has already done it. Your higher self has already done it. Otherwise, how could you desire it? You do, all you do is move to the place where you encounter it. Your desires or your desire is already granted. Walk as though it were. And although time beats slowly in this dimension of our, your being, it will nevertheless bring you confirmation of your assumption. Okay, so let's talk about this in a little bit more detail. It's time for a short ad, because right now I am running my Christmas special offer, which is the largest sale I've ever done, where you can save $1,000 on my usual program price, and where you can also get a free one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me personally on top of that. This is only for 25 people, and this is only till the end of this year. So if that is interesting for you, then simply go to upgradetolife.com slash Christmas or check out the link in the video description. And now enjoy the video. So first, right, the acceptance of the end wills the means. This is why Neville said, always go to the end. The more we try to nitpick, the more we try to manifest in steps, the more we try to, you know, find a solution for a problem, the more we will stay like limited and stuck in the current state. When we go to the end, where the problem no longer exists, where there is no longer a hunger for the desire, but where the wish fulfillment exists, right? The more we go to the end, the easier it is. And going to the end state, the end state in and of itself, right? When you enter the desired reality, automatically will bring you the right actions, automatically will move you so that you can also encounter it externally. So when action is required from you, you will be moved. It's not steps that you have to work out. I do have an very very deep dive video on the topic of you know should you take action or taking action when manifesting which i will link above right now now uh, which you can watch afterwards if, if that's relevant but we want to go straight to the end that's the first just premise right but here's the interesting thing right assume the feeling of your wish fulfilled and your dimensionally creator self will determine the means so again your dimensionally creator self wills the means will determine the means not you rationally on this mind-based physicalized level will then say oh yes now i do this oh yes now i do this no by going to the end state you will get the right impulses the right inspired actions although i'm not a big fan of this word but the right automatic actions okay let's call it like this that you will get feed it from this new end state from your quote-unquote higher self that already knows your wish exists that already has this wish fulfillment but that you can also encounter it in the physical level you will then feed be fed with the right impulses right and it will determine the means for you you don't have to work them out right you do not have to carry the feeling that some presence it's going to do it for you right that, that that there is some external presence or some external god some external entity that is going to manifest it for you right that's also why you will hear me rarely speak about impressing the subconscious mind because for some people, then it feels like, oh, I first have to impress my subconscious mind so that this then, that this higher entity, this higher power can then give me my manifestation. No, you yourself are the subconscious mind. You yourself are this higher self. You yourself are um, your internal reality and everything. So while you are within, that is where you are. You don't, in my opinion, first need to do something and then wait and then a higher power gives you something no you yourself are that higher power when you imagine god is moving within the infinite creation you are shifting in a new reality so it's not some presence right rather no it is already done this higher version of yourself this on on, on a on an invisible level of consciousness right that's outside of your senses already encountered the manifestation right you are already who you want to be your refusal to believe it is the reason why you don't see it 
So your higher self has the desire and you can tune in that. You can go to that. You can connect with that higher self through imagination, right? Through your internal world. And then it's also important, right? Walk as though it were. It is not, but as though it were true. And things will happen to make it so. So the deeper dimensionally creator you has already done it. For me, that's like that's it. That's a key point. Right? Otherwise, you could not desire it. So there is a version of you that already has the desire, and you can tune in that by imagining a scene that implies you know have it, which will anchor you more and more and more in that version of you that literally already does have it. So your higher self already has achieved the goal. Relax in that. What what comfort is it to know that? Right? This is this brings ease. This is this is knowingness, right? Calmness. Conviction that it's done by knowing that there is a version of you that has accomplished it. And you having the desire on this level means, hey, listen, like, this is also possible. Hey, listen, like, I want this. I want to experience this in the 3D world next. So please align with that within so that I can reflect it back. Your desire is already granted, right? Because desiring a state means having a state. Like I explained in the video called What You Want Wants You, which I will link above right now meaning you can only desire something that's in existence, right? And what is also important is time beats slowly in this dimension of your being. What is meant by that, right? So in this dimension, in the, the third dimension, so to speak, right, in the 3D world, yes, we perceive time. Yes, we think in time. We think in two hours from now, yesterday, tomorrow, we think in time. And that's helpful in this dimension, right? Because I say, okay, in two hours, I go meet with this person or at, at 6 p.m., I go to dinner. So... This is, this is obviously very helpful. However, from a manifestation perspective, from a deeper consciousness perspective, there is no time. We only perceive time through the mind. But in consciousness, there is no time. Everything is right now, right here. That's why we can within, when we take our focus, you know, gently back from the senses and shift within into the wish fulfilled state. What would imply it's done? How would I feel? What would the mood be like? That is where we go out of time and go into that reality, no matter when it is exactly. But in that state where we right now are who we want to be. But then how long it takes time for that to be, you know, reflected in the 3D world, that is subjective. That is, that has its own opponent hour, like Neville said. But it's also pretty irrelevant because when you're on the wish fulfilled, you no longer care about the time, quite ironically. So time beats slow in this world, right? In this world, we are bound to time and space. In your imagination, in consciousness, there it does not know time and space. You could right now go to any time, to any point, to any place in this world. You can encounter anything through your imagination, right? So that's it for this video. Your higher self has already done it. If you have any comment, feedbacks, questions, let me know in the comments down below. As always, I read through them. And if you need more help, please be aware I have two main links. One is my free masterclass, straight to the point, how to manifest the usual pitfalls, how to avoid them, how to shift into the version of yourself that already has the goal. Right, how to align with this higher version of yourself that already has achieved it. And if you want to adopt all of that, apply all of that, work with me, have me in your corner, have like-minded people, communi like a community of like-minded people in your corner as well, and a system step-by-step, step, and then just apply for my program and see if you're a good fit, and then we can work together. And I'll speak to you soon. Bye, guys.